Hello everyone. So today I thought I'll probably talk about this uh, question on the community. Now the question from Nina is about uh, two-dimensional gadget. Now two-dimensional gadget, in case you don't know, is a really good, useful uh, report or a gadget that you can use in your dashboard to identify or basically uh, break up your data into two different uh, so basically, let us say you have a list of issues and you want to identify the list of issues using a breakup of issue type or priority. Or maybe you want to do a breakup based on status and project. So basically, you have the option to use two different fields in your uh, in your report. Now, the question is that can we have this particular gadget show something else? For example, if... Uh, uh, I mean, I'm trying to read the question, question from Nina. Now the question is that can I, so let us say in the X axis, so let me first show you the two dimensional gadget so you know what I'm talking about. So a two dimensional gadget is something like this, where you have basically on your Y axis, you have let us say labels and on your on your X axis, you have let us say issue types, right? Now what Nina is talking about, let that you know we have x-axis with team names y-axis with uh, bugs or created bugs I, I guess we're just talking about bugs but what nina is trying to do can i somehow change the y-axis that it would show bug severity with different colors now basically the idea here is that these uh, bugs or uh, these uh, priorities can have different colors so basically the, the idea here, here here i believe that even if you're talking about just one parameter, because on, on y-axis we have team, on on uh, x-axis you may have, let us say, bugs, uh, which can be further broken down based on, let us say, the issue type. But can you do further breakup? So not really, because that is, that is the limiting thing about uh, the, about the gadget, about these native gadgets. You don't really have a lot of flexibility when it comes to doing further drill down i mean you can still do like not really proper drill down but whenever you click on something you will be taken to the issue navigator now what we can do what to solve this problem let us say you're looking at a by looking at a two-dimensional filter where we're talking about bugs with uh, maybe their project names or team names but at the same time if you want to know a bit further about those bugs based on the priority you can simply use uh, this particular uh, pie chart and good thing about this this pie chart is that you have the option to use any field you want so what i'm trying to say is that the native dashboards even though these native reports these uh, gadgets are uh, not really uh, feature rich i mean if you compare it with other apps but at the same time you have a lot that you can do you have plenty of things that you can uh, do with, with these native reports you can basically combine them together like have multiple gadgets multiple dashboards and you can still do reporting i mean uh, you don't really have to create complex reports to to basically uh, analyze data analyze your data and uh, take decisions you can still do it i mean uh, uh, when, you, when you're working on jira i think you should focus on what you're doing but at the same time uh, if there is a need to do complex reporting, of course, you know, you have easy BI. And to be honest, although I try and I recommend not doing it, but you always have the option to, let us say if you have to create a report every six months or let us say every one, one month, even then it is okay to, you know, dump everything in, a, in an Excel sheet and then do it. Uh, although try to do as much as you can within Jira so that you don't have to spend even a single day or even a single hour doing those reports reporting outside outside jira in, a, in in an excel sheet although you can uh, but not really every day and uh, that is all that is all i wanted to talk about and share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye